Today we have one person signed up for uh, public comment. Uh, Mr. Drotty, can you identify that person, please? Yes, sir. We have Carolyn Schroeder. We'll provide comment via Zoom. Okay, can people hear me? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, good morning. As mentioned, my name is Carolyn Schroeder. I graduated from LSU in May of 2020. Um, and during my time as a student, I had personal experience with the Title IX office, and I'd like to make two things very clear before this report is released. First, I'd like to express my support and gratitude for a number of individuals at LSU, because I know that today, like the last few months, a lot of people are going to be blamed for a lot of different things. Many of them will deserve it, and I know I certainly blame a lot of different people at every level of the university for this mess. However, I sincerely believe that President Tom Galligan, who is still very new to his position, is doing his best to manage a difficult situation that he inherited but, not, but did not necessarily create. And I believe that the employees at White House LSU Survivor Outreach Program are in danger of not receiving the credit that they deserve today. Every day they go to work at one of the most emotionally challenging jobs imaginable and they go above and beyond without thanks or appreciation to provide students with the support that they need. Second, I'd like to express, uh, I'd like to express how little faith I have in this board to do the right thing today or in the months to come. Today, we're not here. This meeting was not called out of the goodness of your heart. We're here because a national newspaper published a story in November of last year, which created a bit of a public relations problem for you. That is the only reason you are here now, pretending to resolve this issue. Prior to that article, there were dozens of lawsuits against LSU about this issue, of which you were no doubt aware, yet prior to that article, you did nothing but enable the continuation of this abuse. You hired a known domestic abuser as head football coach, yet today you will pretend to be shocked and appalled that he covered up his player's sexual misconduct. Just last week, you quickly and quietly handed an $800 million energy contract to a man who is the legal guardian of an LSU athlete charged with a domestic abuse and who is named in several police reports. Yet you will pretend today that you had no idea he would make an appearance in today's report from Hush Blackwell. You closed this insanely idiotic deal without inviting public bids with a man who bamboozled the university out of several million dollars in a 2006 contract despite the fact that KPMG, the outside firm that you hired for their advice, had advised that you invite public bids. Yet today, you will pretend to listen to the report that Hush Blackwell has prepared, another outside firm that you hired for their advice. All of this indicates that you not only love paying exorbitant amounts of money for the university to hire outside consultants to whom you ultimately won't listen, but that the same will happen again today. I could share with you my own experiences with Title IX at LSU and the impact that it's had on me, or I could tell you how I think LSU can improve in that department. However, throughout the saga, you have done absolutely nothing to inspire any confidence in your ability to listen to Hush Blackwell and successfully manage this crisis. So instead, I'm here to remind you that regardless of whatever you hear today and whoever is blamed, you are ultimately responsible for this mess. Whether it's because you don't care or you're just bad at doing your job, you are the guilty party here. I genuinely hope that I have effectively insulted at least a few of you right now because that insignificant and fleeting feeling that you're experiencing in this particular moment is absolutely nothing in comparison to the persistent and often debilitating fear that survivors at LSU suffer on a daily basis as a direct result of your deliberate indifference to abuse on this campus. That is all. Thank, thank you for being here today.